and the grandmother's on the roof. Huzzah! Huzzah! The time has come again. Huzzah! Huzzah! Don't forget to bring a new friend. Wonderful Woofuck Act. It's day 13. Day 13 of Woofuck Act. Um, we've stopped oh, introducing so ourselves in these because there's no point. Oh, who would listen to this stuff unless they, they knew what was going on? Yeah, if you're brand new to Canadian Politics is Boring, hi. Um, sorry for the confusion. We're smack dab in the middle of, of our traditional uh, holiday season called Woofuck Act, which is the Winter Festival of Unaligned Celebration Advent Calendar. Is this a freebie? Is this one? It is. This is a free one. Yeah, yeah. The freeloaders. So <laughs> if you've tuned, if you've tuned in for day thirteen as your first experience of this podcast, don't just don't. Just yeah, go I'd back. Rewind, just go, go back. And back. And pick something that doesn't have a fuck act in the title. Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. I mean, you're more than welcome to listen, but you might be a little confused. <laughs> yeah, and disappointed. <laughs> now, well, I don't know about that. Yeah, so, <laughs> Our fuck acts yeah. are, pretty, are pretty great. They're interesting. Uh, a wonderful tradition for all. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly so jesse is day 13 will you open the door so we can find today's story well hold on aren't we supposed to talk about what happened last night back i can't was, i'm not i can't look back on backwards night it was awful yeah no. yeah well i, I can I, never I, speak of it again for legal reasons <laughs> <laughs> i quite enjoyed memento it was a, a quite a mind fuck for me um and uh, and then after that i tried to eat jello and that was a mistake oh god <laughs> but uh yeah you know backwards i try to keep it calm because before i thought i could brave backwards night and like that doesn't sound so bad mm, nope you don't want to you don't want to brave backwards night is not a night to, to behold to anyone behold it's, it is a night to behold it is not a night to anyway yeah i'm not <laughs> <laughs> my words are not coming up very well right now could you just open the door and we'll get on with it let's get this uh, over with let's get this over with is now yeah. reese's uh is 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 his opinion is a mentality towards our podcast let's get this over with okay yeah let's move let's on around. come on let's let's move on <laughs> for fuck's sake jesse get in front of the microphone let's record this shit let's yeah. just move on okay hold on nice there you go good i like the chicken at the end um <laughs> uh zhang zong chang don't be racist that's just horrible. Don't make fun of. That's his name, Zhang Zong Chang. Oh, I well, you're just doing racist, that thing but... you do when you just make fun of Asian people randomly throughout the day. We're always that's, like, yep, Reese, me. stop that. Full of hate. <laughs> just full of hate <laughs> and a distinct lack of understanding for those who are different from me. That's how I live my life. <laughs> <laughs> just because you're very you're very um uh clear about your racism <laughs> it's very well defined well in your was, eyes it was, it was it was bred into me by by the community i was raised in so will i change who knows maybe if someone different from me saves my life then i might earn respect for them at some point but i'm not holding my breath so. <laughs> Just, just as a little asterisk here, uh, me and Jesse aren't racist. Uh, he was just, um, uh, I don't, I don't know why he said that. <laughs> Maybe because he is. Anyway, um, so <laughs> Zhang Zongchan was a warlord, um, and he was around in uh, the early twentieth century. Um, and he was a okay. really good, he was a really good leader and fighter. He used armored cars, and he took, he captured Shanghai and Nanking. Um, uh, in military kind of operations um but there was lots uh, lots of things about him that weren't um well you know this is a running theme of this he did some stuff that was unusual too right okay and the best best part is he's got he's, he had four different nicknames uh old 86 is one because uh he believed that he gave himself that nickname after the 86 at the time no, it was after it was after his penis which he said was 86 coins tall okay that's a weird way of measuring your dick but sure yeah um he was also called dog meat general which was based after a, a game he liked to play which was called 
uh, known as Eating Dog Meat. It was um, called what? The game was called Eating Dog Meat. Which was, a, how it was you, just a game. How do you play that game? I don't know. How do you win or lose? What are the rules? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have all the answers, Jesse. Again, read a book, do some research. You can find yourself <laughs> yourself. No. Um, he was also known as 72 Canon Chang. He really liked putting numbers before his names, didn't he? I know. Um, so what happened was... <laughs> For 72 Canon Chang. So they, um, they were praying. He arrived, there was a famine... And he arrived at a temple to pray to a statue for rain. Um, and the rain didn't come. So Zhang slapped the statue. Um, As one does. Um, and then like, was angry for when not statues giving don't rain. give you what you want. Like, yeah, of course, everyone and knows then, that. And then the next day he ordered his, arti- ordered his artillery to shoot the sky in retaliation. With 72 cannons, specifically. No, no, no. no. Um, so they ordered him to, to shoot the sky. Okay. And... Uh, and it rained the next day, so he won. Oh, that's kind of funny. Did yeah. anyone, did the, did the cannons, I'm assuming they were cannons, did they like fall into a village somewhere? <laughs> Just like, I don't, well, it was artillery weapons, so I don't know. It probably went quite far. Um, so it rained, but I imagine. Oh, this was, that, in the, this was in our, this is in the, uh, the early 20th, 20th century. century. Okay. Yeah. Um, and also, um, sure, this guy. His, his, his last nickname was Three Don't Knows. Um, because he didn't know how big his treasury was, his army was, or his harem. Um, so or his what? Harem. What's a harem? Or his harem? It's basically, like, yeah, which is just like a posse of of women that follow him around. Okay, he didn't know how big they were. All right, that's all right. No, no, exactly. Um, so he um, <laughs> yes. Um, so he he once uh return. He promised once to go to battle and return either victorious or in a coffin and then he lost so he he got them to bring him back in a coffin while he smoked a cigar that's funny at least he's at least it's true to his word like that's impressive um he didn't have to do that like who the fuck was gonna you know like hey you're not back in a coffin you know like seriously exactly he was like like, i'm true to my word i did it i mean like i gotta give him props for that that's exactly you know insane cigar as well Right? As, oh. He also he also refused. You're gonna like this one. He refused to drink any water except from his favorite river. Um, <clears throat> okay. And he would, but he would drink it directly from the stream, like with his hands. So if he was having dinner and he wanted to drink a water, he would get up and walk to the river to drink from the stream. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that. It's, it's fine as long as you're in walking distance of that river. Oh, right. Right. So he always had to be within walking distance of the river if he ever if wanted, he wanted a nice water. drink. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, well, you know, and also fit and hydrated. Yeah. Also, what happened then? He he lived his later life in Japan, uh, where he sh- he shot the emperor's cousin in 1929 because he was flirting with one of the women in his uh, in his harem. Is that I, how you guys pronounce it? Harem? We call it a yeah. harem. Okay, well, that's interesting. I'll do it properly. So, <laughs> no, that's all right. Um, mm-hmm. And he also wrote. We, we, enjoy, we enjoy your your mispronunciation of the English language. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> Call what you like. <laughs> um, he also wrote a poem. Do you want to hear his poem? Yeah, yeah, I this do. Po- this poem is called "Poem About Bastards." Okay. You tell me to do this. He tells me to do that. You're all bastards. Go fuck your mother. Is that it? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like you could put some music to this, slow it down, and read it more dramatically. Please. All right, ready? Ready? Poem about bastards. You tell me to do this. He tells me to do that. You're all bastards. Go fuck your mother. That was a. I thought it was go fuck yourselves. Is it go fuck your your mother? Is that how it actually yeah, ends? Yeah, go fuck your mother. Yeah, that's how it ends. Uh, that's it. Yeah. No, no, that's how the poem ends. Go fuck that's your mother. That's how the poem ends. Yep. That's amazing. That's amazing. I like this guy. <laughs> uh, so what have we learned about him? He's he's jealous. He's a wonderful poet. He's he a tried bad, to kill he's the, bad at tried math. to kill the sky because it didn't rain. Right. <laughs> but he won. 
<laughs> he did win. He did win. But right. John, one, one and he's, more true fact. To his, he's true to his word. He is. And one more fact before we go. Okay. The first time he ever saw a basketball game, he asked why the hell they were all fighting over one ball. And because it was in the city he was in charge of and as the hosts, he was really angry and he ordered them to give all of the players their own basketball because he didn't want them to think he was poor. You're fucking kidding me. Nope. Did the game continue with every player having their own basketball? I assume so. That's <laughs> unfucking real. There's no way that's not televised somewhere. <laughs> We've got to look. Can you just quickly Google? Because it, it was the 1920s, Jesse. Oh, all right. Never mind. I didn't. They didn't have YouTube. Didn't or have TikToks. YouTube or TikToks. Right. Yeah. yeah. Can you just yeah. fucking like all the players? Here you go. Here's your own basketball. Now play. Exactly. Like, exactly. What do we do? like? All right. The so score go. is now 3,222 to 3,392. <laughs> so that, that, that was Zhang Zong Chang. Do you like Zang, him? I like Zhang Zong Chang. He's got a great name. Uh, he's just, he's a, he's a true sportsman. Um, unless he was a horrible, horrible murderer, which case, uh, I didn't like him at all, but, uh, I like all that other stuff. It was fun. It was really fun. Great. <laughs> um, tonight, Jesse, do you know what uh -oh. tonight is? No, you, you tease that tonight was a bit, a good one. So I'm, I'm afraid as well. Fuck act tends not to be a fun tradition to enjoy. Tonight is a night of warm smiles. Tonight's, Tonight's warm smiles. <laughs> Tonight's the night of warm smiles, which, which, yeah. if memory serves, is not as pleasant a night as you might, you might think, dear listener. Yeah, uh, everyone, Reese, do you want to everyone describe it? To a, yeah, everyone has to have a warm smile on their face, but they get beaten silly. The strongest person in the village is designated to be the beater for the night. They have a, a beeper if someone messages them to let them know that someone is not smiling warmly. Um, <laughs> you can't even, you can't even, and when you say warmly, it can't be like a mild smile or a, or a grimace. Um, and that person will then go and beat them up until the warm smile returns to their face. <laughs> so you ever see the movie Smile? I haven't seen it yet. Apparently it's terrifying. But that's so my, daughter, just... my daughter watched it and she got halfway through and I said, is it scary? She was just like, huh. <laughs> really? Just, yeah. yeah. Okay. So everyone's going to have smiles like that. Just creepy, creepy, warm smiles. And yeah. if anyone stops, you, you call Who's the designated? It's different, everyone. But for whatever yeah, reason, yeah, they have yeah. a fucking pager that still works. <laughs> they come to your house and they beat the shit out of whoever's not smiling until exactly. they start to smile in the middle of their shit beating. Isn't yeah. that wonderful? Yeah. Right. So that's that's nice. Anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to tonight. Thankfully, I, uh, I, I, yeah. well, um, my roommates are downstairs and um, they, they very rarely venture upstairs. So they might not see it if I break tradition and stop smiling. I might get away with it. I'll know. <laughs> <laughs> i'm oh. gonna ring the number just in case oh thanks thanks reese that's nice yeah. i'll do the same for you yeah. then fine yeah okay <laughs> just okay, just cool. an insurance beating for both of us yeah. exactly just a precautionary <laughs> reminding beating yeah that's great yeah yeah and tomorrow okay. tomorrow is a great night tomorrow is a great night i'm not gonna no, tell you which one it is you're not gonna tell you me? Will, no no you gotta wait and see um okay. and we're gonna be back to the uh free people tomorrow the free people the are free back. people okay yeah okay okay right. bye yeah. everyone wonderful fuck out reese a uh, wonderful well, fuck act, Jesse. The grandmother's on the roof. Huzzah! Huzzah! The time has come again. Huzzah! Huzzah! Don't forget to bring a new friend. <laughs>